Having an on-axis, optimised apical four-chamber view is really important, particularly when you come to do Doppler measurements, like your mitral inflow or your tissue Doppler if you decide to start doing diastolic measurements. In this video today, I'm going to show you three ways to make sure your apical view is optimised. To optimise your apical four-chamber view, you need to make sure that the septum is straight down your screen. If your image is like this, that's called being off axis. The movement to correct this is a simple rocking motion. So back to an off-axis image and then rocking my hand, that's bringing the septum back into the centre of my screen again. As well as an off-axis image, the other mistake is to foreshorten the ventricle. You want the ventricle to be as long as possible. If you go too high, a rib space, Do you notice how the ventricle looks very small? It's almost the same size as the left atrium and it's coming in on itself. In reality, the apex should not really be moving. It's the base of the heart that moves down towards the apex in systole, not the other way around. So this is one sign that you have foreshortened the ventricle. If this happens, slide down a rib space. And in fact, I would recommend sliding down as many rib spaces as you possibly can until the point at which you lose an image altogether. The furthest rib space you can go down and still get a nice image of the heart will be the most on-axis and least foreshortened image that you can get. One other common problem is to open up the aorta when you're supposed to be getting a four-chamber view. So if I tilt up towards her head, that's when I get my five chamber view with the aorta. I want to make sure I've closed that off completely. I don't want that popping in to my four chamber view when I don't want it there. So here is my four chamber, opening up the aorta, five chamber, tilting back again into a four chamber. It's a very small movement. So tilting like that for the five chamber and then back again this way for the four chamber. So it's a, a very slight rocking movement. I'm exaggerating it for the camera. In reality, it's not that much of a movement at all. So to summarize the most common problems, an off axis image like this can be solved by simply tilting like this. A foreshortened ventricle where you're too high up on your patient, you're up one rib space too cranially, perhaps even two, and your ventricle's looking like this, the apex coming in on itself. Solution is to slide down a rib space or two, as far down as you can really get to make that ventricle nice and long. And finally, making sure that that aorta is completely closed off so you can't see the aortic valve or any of the outflow tract in your picture, that you've completely closed it off so that your ventricle looks like this. If this video was helpful to you, then please do give it a like. You might not have time to leave a comment right now, but hitting the like button is enough feedback to know that this was helpful to you and you would like more content along these lines. If you're ready to really become confident in echocardiography, there's also a link in the description below where you can book a call with me, we can discuss where you're at right now and see whether you are a good fit for our online echocardiography programme.